local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6. Gives me pause to go outside right now. Some people are concerned about safety in their neighborhood after recent shootings in Danville. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Police say a 31-year-old man was shot in the leg at North Walnut and West Voorhees last night. A few hours later, a 29-year-old man was shot at by someone in a car near Fairchild and Harmon. WCIE 3's Jamie Mays is live in our newsroom. Jamie, those are just a few blocks apart. And everyone who lives around there that I talked to said they are definitely being more cautious. Some are making changes to when they choose to go outside. Susie Garujal says crime has been an issue on her streets for a while. We just were worried about break-ins. But that changed Tuesday night when she sat down for dinner. We heard this pop, 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 pop. A man was inside his home when gunshots came through the window and hit him. He was shot in the leg. We look out the dining room window and we see a car speed away. A few hours later, blocks away, a 29-year-old man was shot at by someone in a car. He crashed his car after hearing the gunshots. A 67-year-old man was hurt. Grujal cares for her grandchildren during the day and is concerned by the violence. I would be afraid if I had him out. So she likes to keep them inside to play. It gives me pause to go outside right now. It's a little unnerving. And they aren't alone. The principal at Schlarman Academy says because of shootings within the last week, he's taking precaution. We're just staying in for the time being. Recess is inside, something Janeski says he hasn't done since he's been the principal there the past two years. I don't want to make this seem like a uh, prison, but I do want students to be feel secure in their educational environment. So until Janeski feels comfortable knowing that his students will be okay, they'll be taking their break indoors. I feel like my children, like they're my kids myself, so um, I want them to be as safe as imaginable. The principal at Schlarman Academy says he plans to speak to authorities before allowing kids to be outside again. Live in the newsroom, Jamie Mays, WCIA 3, your local news leader. That's incredibly sad. I don't know how you explain that to a child, that they can't go out for recess because of gunfire. All right, thank you so much. Now, police are still trying to figure out if the two shootings that happened last night and another that happened on Harmon Street last week are related.